This is what the right hand should look like when you play the clarinet. The fingers are curved and there's a backward C shape between the thumb and the index finger. The right thumb goes underneath the thumb rest on the lower joint of the clarinet. It helps to support the weight of the instrument. And usually the thumb rest ends up being somewhere between the base of the thumbnail and the middle knuckle. If you look at the right thumb from the side, you can see how it falls in between the index finger and the middle finger of the right hand. So just imagine that your thumb is shooting an arrow in between your index and your middle fingers, and this should help you to get your thumb just in the right position. And this is what the right hand looks like from the front of the clarinet. The fingers are gently curved and the tips are completely covering the tone holes. This is a side view of the right index finger. It should be really close to the side keys, but never, never underneath them. If you position your right index finger under the side keys, it won't be able to quickly reach those keys when you need them to. Finally, always be sure that your right pinky is anchored to one of the lower keys. In this picture, the right pinky is anchored to the low F key. Okay, let's see if you can recognize the best hand position from these photos. What about number one? Well, this isn't correct because the thumb rest is to the right of the middle knuckle. This position would make it difficult for the right hand to be relaxed. How about number two? Yeah, this looks good. The fingers are curved and covering the tone holes and the pinky is anchored to the low F key. Then what's wrong with number three? Can you see that the right index finger is trapped under those side keys? Notice how that pushes the rest of the fingers closer together in a much tighter position. Hope you got them correct.